11.41 a.m. It was almost lunchtime at Ewing Elementary School on Olive Avenue, just east of Chestnut. The kindergartners were lining up to get out of school for the day. Teachers Don Lloyd and Kim Vasquez remember parents had already arrived at the front gate. We were dismissing our kids, and we heard what sounded like a jet plane, literally, like a trash can or something going right past the roof. It was screeching metal. It was just, yeah, it was, and it metal. went right over the tops of our classrooms. Marty McClintock was eight years old. He was inside his third grade classroom at Ewing and watched from the window as a jet plane flew low across the playground. I said, hey, there's something in the sky. And we realized there was a big thing of smoke and the plane flying across as he got a little lower. Just before noon, a plane fell out of the sky on a Fresno City street. We got an engine fire on the right side, too, it shows. Do we have any power? I'm not getting any response, ma'am. Here's coming down. Pull it in. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm not gonna. The pilots frantically pulled the plane up over Ewing Elementary School and tried for a landing on Olive Avenue. Full power, full power. Pull up. I, damn it. Pull up, dude. I got full right rudder in. The plane did crash. It clipped a light pole at Recreation Avenue and smashed into the Olive Wood Apartments. The debris field covered two city blocks. Pilots Richard Anderson and Brad Sexton died. 21 people on the ground were injured. Every Fresno firefighter and paramedic on duty rushed to the scene. Among them, Bob Waterston. This main street here, Olive, I bet the flames were 20 foot high, probably for two, two, at least two blocks, because of jet fuel everywhere. And there was, the debris was down olive. First thing I ran into coming around the corner over there is a jet engine on fire laying in the middle of the street. What's amazing is, is when this accident happened, it was close to the noon hour on one of the busiest streets in central Fresno. And yet that day, at that time, there were hardly any cars on the road. The National Transportation Safety Board determined the cause of the crash was faulty wiring in the jet. Phoenix Air, the owner of the plane, had modified the wiring so it could perform as a chase plane on military missions. In the end, the company paid out millions, including $12 million to Blondie Davis, a 20-year-old woman burned over 60% of her body. Fresno attorney Rick Waters represented Davis. And Blondie was in her apartment and she was getting ready to go somewhere, and uh, the engine came into her bathroom while she was getting ready on fire and burned her. Those at Ewing Elementary School that day believe pilots Richard Anderson and Brad Sexton took extraordinary measures to avoid the school and set the plane down in the street. The school's library even bears their name, and there's a plaque on the door thanking them for their heroism. For probably at least 10 or 12 years after the incident, the family would come back every December and some of us would go to lunch. And that went on for quite a while. Most of the teachers at Ewing that day have since retired. The apartment complex has been rebuilt. Businesses have come and gone. But the horrific memories of December 14, 1994 will be etched in the memories of Fresnans for a long time to come. This is my far sticks in my mind like it happened yesterday.